Alright everyone, so welcome back. In this video, we are going to try to create button hover effect. And the effect that what we are going to create is just underline button effect. So if I try to hover the center button, as you can see, we have the underline effect is come from the center. And if I hover the left, it should become from left. And the bottom should become from bottom. So this will be just a short video, guys. So let's create a folder. I'm going to open my terminal. Let's create a folder. Just before that, I just want to go to my D directory and let's go to my coding folder. And in here, I'm going to create a folder called just say underline underscore button. And let's go to underline underscore button folder. And inside in here, I just want to open that with, with VS Code. So let's exit the terminal. Let's close the welcome page and I'm going to create index.html. Let's generate HTML boilerplate explanation tab. And let's change the title right here into underline button. And just give a H1 just for example. Say hello world. really so now save and basically I, i'm using live server extension in vs code so i can click right and open with live server should be opening the local host with port 5500 so now we get a hello world right there pretty awesome so let's make side by side right here so we can see clearly like so okay here we go basically i'm not gonna create another file like uh, you know style.css because I just want to put everything in the index.html file right here so in here what I can do is I want to create div with the class container and inside in here I just want to create the three button we have in here say button I just want to give a class called ptn and should be uh, center let's copy and paste two more time should be left and bottom so let's add class in here let's give a ptn dash center and should be ptn dash left and last thing is ptn dash bottom save we should see a uh, three button right here so let's styling that I'm gonna open the style tag in here and the first thing is I'm gonna grab the body and I'm gonna using font family which is Arial Helvetica Sans Serif and I'm gonna change the background into wait background into something like say FB FRFF -F -F. and I'm going to grab the container class which is the container right here. I'm going to give a display flex and a flex direction to column, basically. Just make that column. When I save, it should be coming something like this. All right. So let's give a align item center. Wait. Center and justify content to center. And I'm going to give a margin top into something like 5 rem save should be look like this all right so now i'm going to grab the btn class so let's grab in here say btn i'm going to give a position to relative and let's give a background into the color what we are using in the background and let's give a color into something like dark say to nine two seven three four let's give a width say 10 ram and i'm gonna give a margin bottom margin bottom into let's give a two ram save and it's gonna be look like that and i'm going to give a padding 
to, to say one ramp top and bottom and zero top left and right and just remove the border to none outline none and just change the font size into something like 1.2 ram save uh, it should be look like that say font week i'm i want to use a bolt and uh, box shadow basically i'm going to show you right here uh you can go to broom.af slash shadows i don't know how to pronounce this but i put the link description below so you don't you don't need to worry about that it's basically just uh you can create a shadow in here it's pretty cool uh tools i think so let's using uh, just four layers and you can play around with this basically want to make that in the center something like that and yeah it's like that so let's copy and paste to right here So now save, we should have, uh, where is the, right there. Now we have the shadow, pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to create the underline, which is the underline right here, okay? So let's try to create that. I'm gonna use pseudo element. So let's grab the BTN, and I'm gonna use after. I want to give a content to MT and position to absolute. Just make sure you put uh, position relative in the button right here. Okay, so let's give a width to 100% and let's give a hake to something like 0 0.7175 RAM. And let's change the background into something like E A zero E four B. So now save, and as you can see in here, we have the underline button, but it's not like what we want. We need to in here, all right. So what we can do is basically just very simple. We need to say left to zero and bottom to zero and here we go now we have the underlying uh, color all right so now let's animate the center button right here so we can grab the button center class you can grab that after and i'm going to say transform gonna scale that uh, spell wrong transform and I'm going to scale really scale the X I'm gonna set to zero and the Y set it to a one and just by doing this I can do right here btn the center and hover hover and the after i'm going to make the transform back to one just the scale i'm going to the x back to one and the y it's back to one again so if i try to save now but right here we have the effect but it's not smooth because we don't add any transition so let's do transition say transform really transform i'm gonna say 0 0.3 second and is when i save that now you should see the effect pretty cool but why the cursor is not pointer right here so cursor pointer now when we hover wait really why the cursor 
really you need to put you need to put the cursor in here okay so now save you should have the cursor beautiful so let's styling the left let's scroll it down I'm gonna give a comment in here say comment just give an animate I cannot typing anymore <laughs> animate center button and let's do down here you can do animate left button so what we can do in here just maybe very similar so we can just copy that and paste right here and the center we should change that into left but in here i'm gonna grab the transform origin and i'm gonna set to zero percent and then 100 percent what that mean about this so let's go to the developer mozilla.org let's make bigger as you can see in here this is the x axis and this is the y axis so if i set it to zero and the second i'm going to change that into 100 percent as you can see it should be come from here okay so that's what we want basically in this underline button because in the left we want to start from here okay i hope that makes sense so let's go back that's why we set the transform origin the x to zero which is the from here okay and uh, y which is 100 percent which is very bottom right here okay so now when we hover we have the underline effect come from the left side okay so now let's try to create the bottom wait <laughs> this is the final project basically sorry about that and here we go it's come from the center wait what we get wrong in here so let's try to reload and i'm going to hover the left button now we get uh, underline effect is come from the left pretty cool so let's work with bottom right now so let's go back to right here let's comment that out animate uh, bottom button okay the first is let's grab the btn bottom after and i'm going to set the transform into translate y and to say three pixel okay if i save should be uh, push the underline to the bottom all right so if i copy this and paste in here and let's give a hover effect like so and let's make back to zero so now save and if i hover it should be uh, come from bottom and back to the top see so let's give a transition in here transition say transform say 0 0.3 second and is so now save and let's try to hover that see the underline is gonna be come from bottom and back to the top the idea in here is when the underline the red underline in here in the bottom we need to hide that but when we hover we need to showing that the easy way to do that is just grab the btn bottom and i'm going to say offer flow to hidden save and now that's gone but when we hover it's coming out pretty cool all right so i think that's it for this video i hope you learned something new and i'm gonna see you in the next video and bye